Hey everyone, welcome aboard to another Dragon Age Origins video. This would be number three. And we're going to do Lothering and the Camp today. So let's just hit the road, I guess. I like this map add-on too. It's uh, very nice. It looks very good. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Honora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Bantigan, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Bantigan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your majesty? Ooh, burn. Oh, do you guys know what I just realized? I forgot to give the flower to that kennel master. They don't look much like Whoops. Maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. I ain't paying you nothing. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. <laughs> well, this is going nowhere. Let's finish this, gents. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. Take out the leader. Wait, does she have bear form yet? Oh, no, she doesn't. Alistair, come on. Help me out here. All right. We surrender. We're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. We should have been more careful. I'm sorry. Give me everything you got. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. Beat it. Bless you. The Darkspawn can have this place. Oh, two gold. It's a Templar here. Fallen Templar. I think um, his friend is in the Chantry.
Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. His navel, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. I agree. Have you looked at them? A little bit. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arliman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. I can give you directions, if you like. Then you have a plan. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. I think what we'll do is probably start with the Circle of Magi. First. I find it's not as hard as the other ones are. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. Best of luck wherever you might go. Thanks, I guess. It's just a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is On aware- it. Back off! I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. It warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? You could... Beleaguered? He even looks like a scoundrel. Charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger. I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. Perhaps. If that woman agrees, I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not beggar the needy. Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. Hmm? My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. <laughs> Minus three. No. Hey, where's that guy? Oh, he's right there. Hmm. Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. All right. Just don't buy everything up. What does Merchant have? He has wine. Concentrated venom, freeze bomb, fire bomb. It could be useful for Liliana. Oh wait, no, I want that back. Oh shoot. 
Gonna give Morgan that. Oh, it's like two constitution for that. That's not bad. That's it. Give you six defense. There. Now we're set. Uh, bandits everywhere. There's word of darkspawn stragglers. Oh, there's a Templar. The only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. Yes, my lady, who might you be? I see. I am Sir Bryant, commander of the Lothering Templars. Tan Logain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Maker's breath, how many times must we drive them off? Indeed, they're gone. It's true. I saw the bastard running for the hills myself. That's an impressive feat indeed. Will you accept a small reward for your efforts? Oh yes, I will. If it interests you, there is a chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. The chanters even offer pay for some of them. Now. Unless there's something else you need. Travel safely. <laughs> and I should go. <laughs> Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Very nearly, Sir Donald. May I introduce my fellow Grey Warden? We are the last two in Ferelden. As far as I know. Terrible news indeed. Pleased to meet you, my lady. Might I know your name? I trust you are staying discreet, with the bounty placed on your heads. We've heard Loghain's accusations, but he's the one who betrayed the king. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. If he were well? W what, what do you mean? The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. When did this happen? Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined quickly. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness, but I fear we are chasing a fable, with each day my hope dims. Oh, here's your friend's stuff. And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. A reward? Oh, uh, of course. I hope a sovereign is sufficient. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, my lady. You have been most helpful. And when the Maker spoke, chant of light. Right. Nice. Let those who cry out. <laughs> Someone's tea posing. As you wish. Yeah, let's kill some bandits. Let's just stop by the tavern quick. Your mother for a moment. I 
I'd rather talk about your... Did you... Yesterday. Well, look what we have here, then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a woman by this very description, and everyone said they hadn't seen her? It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. I doubt he would listen. He blindly follows his master's commands. I am not the blind one. I served at Ostagar, where the turn saved us from the Grey Warden's treachery. I serve him gladly. Enough talk. Take the Warden into custody. Kill this sister and anyone else that gets in your way. Dude, you're gonna kill a... Let's make this quick. <laughs> a Chantry sister? What is wrong with you? You guys... Crazy. Good word. Beat up the commander and I bet the rest will break. Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. I was there. The turn pulled us out of a trap. Uh, no. The Darkspawn were almost defeated. The Wardens led the King to his death. The turn could do nothing. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I apologize for interfering. But I couldn't just sit by and not help. Save my life. I assure you, I can handle myself. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. I joined the Chantry to live a life of religious contemplation. But I am no priest, not even an initiate. Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. The Maker told me to. Then... you believe me? I knew the Maker had sent a true dream. A vision that by serving you, I serve his holy plan. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. You can serve the Maker by picking locks and giving me uh, bard buffs. Indeed. I'm so sad about my doggy. I, I f totally forgot about him. I think she already has like decent gear because the mod. Uh, what does she have? Enchanted Dagger? Let's give her another one. Bows really suck in this game, so I'm just going to keep her as a Dagger Rogue. What does she have? Or Legion Scout Armor? Yeah, it's good. You're here about food. Take it up with that blade run by the Chantry. I've got other gear to sell. It doesn't really have a lot. Oh, some flasks. Uh, I'll sell him. That, that. I'm gonna keep the runes for sandal. Okay. I've got other gear to sell. Check the chanter's board by the chantry. There's good jobs there. Um, <clears throat> I don't suppose you know anything about uh, poison. I figured if I kept asking, I'd find someone. I'd pay good coin for some simple poison. Something to slow them beasties down or make them think twice. Thanks. I might have some ingredients in stock. I don't really know what you need. Liliana can make poison, so he just needs some toxin from the spiders outside of town. She's like uh, one of my favorite characters in this game. I saw you 
could take the supplies from my car. Build the grassland ice. A chase There's some bandits. Spiders everywhere. They're big buggers too. Liliana can make toxin, I believe. Venom. Firebomb. Okay, good. She can do that. You know what? While we're here, Alistair, aggressive, defender, Morgan, healer, Liliana, scrapper. Critter. Stuff to sell. On it. Allow me. I could do that for you. She could do lots for me, I think. Okay. Um, yeah. One more group of bandits and then we can turn that in. Right. If I can lure him around the corner. Should be all she wrote. Yeah. Back to the Chandra board.
Then we'll go to the tavern, give the venom to that guy. So, let me get this straight. You were a cloistered sister? You must have been a brother before you became a Templar. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Oh wow, three gold. When bears attack and... Looks like wolves. See my stock. Splendid. Uh, if those beasties come on my land, I hope it teaches them a lesson. Yeah, enough gold to cover any of your expenses and then some. Hey! Ha <laughs> ha! What makes them grey wolves so special? There's the wolves. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Oh my god, it's like an army. Wiped out. That would be the corpse. Molested by wolves. And then the bear should be right around the corner. Now, there's a quest over here. That lady, it's for trap making, though, and I actually don't have that. I just don't usually have find to set traps in battle. You want one of my captors? I remember the revered mother mentioning this man. She called him a savage from the far north. I will not amuse you any more than I have the other humans. Leave me in peace. A prisoner. I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the Chantry. The revered mother said he slaughtered an entire family, even the children. It is as she says. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. If you haven't heard of us, that is your own shortcoming. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. Ah! <laughs> that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, that's what I would have expected. I suggest you leave me to my fate. No doubt. What help do you seek? The Blight. Are you a Grey Warden then? Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance, it seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Farewell then. To be left here to starve? Or to be taken by the Darkspawn? No one deserves that. Not even a murderer. Let's invoke the right of conscription. I'm wondering 
Morrigan. Do you believe in the Maker? Certainly not. Let him take notice and shine upon thee, for thou hast done his work this day. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. Oh, uh, okay. Sermon time? Yeah, that's it. Let's go talk to that lady. The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at darkspawn hands. There! One of their minions is already amongst us. This woman bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills her? I watch the Black Horde descend on my people. I will not be silent. Please stop. Somebody shut his mouth. But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will... That's so loud. My family, my clan, those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here, but we cannot escape the dog spawn. I... I ran, hearing my wife screams as they dragged her off. She had hair the same color as yours. Why am I here? I should not have gone. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. Why is this happening? Go to dinner, buddy. <laughs> Some of them are tea posing. That's funny. I don't think I need this anymore. Good day, Sister Liliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. I do not recognize your companion. Greetings. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry? Our need has never been greater. Might I suggest 30 silver? Thank you, dear woman. What can I do for you then? It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. And what do you say on this, Liliana? You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, Your Reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Very well, I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, Your Reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. What's all this? Oh, it's a uh, stand stuff. Um, just take that and that. This is actually one of the last point and click games that I was playing. I you don't really see those kind of games anymore. If you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain Senior Grey Warden here. I find it curious that you allow another to lead. You wish something more of me. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the Blight. 
And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. You know, I usually use Alistair. Let's just boot him out for now. Blasted. Yes. All right, buddy. <laughs> That's broken. That's funny. Uh, commander uniform. Long sword made hand. I heard what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen, and make her forgive me, I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! That's how it's gonna be, huh? Oh, wait, <laughs> his outfit's broken too. Um, I didn't realize that it was. Here, just take heavy chain mail. What about his helmet? I mean, it's kind of busted, but it looks fine. His gloves are busted, everything's busted. Oh my god. All right, dude, here, take that. Chain mail boots, chain mail gloves, there. That's kind of funny. All right. Are we done with this place? May not be here later. Should we leave now? Get back, Sandal! Don't let him touch. You. Blood mage. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Grey wards. Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offense, but I suspect. There's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Let's get started. I'm just going to take that. Dreams, huh? 
Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Haha, <laughs> plus one. Hey, it's these two again. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fennec, at your service, once again. I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a Grey Warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Wonderful. Thank the kind lady, won't you, boy? Thank you, kind lady. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. Okay. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but... He's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. Enchantment! Enchantment! Oh, Oathkeeper is the only one that can get done. Cool. Something you need? I'm sure either my boy or I can help you out. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. That's like a discount at a store where they don't actually lower the price. They just say that they did. And never know the wiser. A backpack. So we can have more room. And these are for getting really fast wrap with your companions, I think. So weapon, I think it's all vanilla stuff. Yep. All right, what should I sell? Oh, that's for Alistair. Okie dokie. Well. Oh, I haven't unlocked Blood Mage yet. He will save that then. I guess, yeah, we should do the Circle Tower right away then, to do that. Staff focus, more damage. Okay. Well, guys, that's it for Lord of the Ring and the cap. So, next one, we'll head to the Circle Tower. And then we'll probably do Red Cliff after that, then move on to the Brazilian Forest, Denerim, and the Deep Roads. Take care.